What's up everybody, Ride with Will, and it's a beautiful day, beautiful day for a ride right now. So I'm, gonna, I'm out in Rainbow Falls right now, and I'm checking out the trail conditions, and so far it looks perfect. I'm going to be checking out a few trails, uh, 348, 350, and probably I think that trail back over there is 349 or 348. So anyways, let's check out the trails. So the first place I want to check is 349, right here in front of the road, so... Let's see how it looks. It's a little muddy, a little slick, but I'm not seeing any snow. Eh, so far so good. Not seeing any snow, but it is a little muddy and a little slick. All right, tree. most part it's definitely drying up all right so again I'm on uh, trail 349 I just made it to the gate so we're gonna go ahead and go through this gate so far it's looking oh shit what did I hit <laughs> so far it's looking nice and uh, nice and dry hard packed so so far I'm not seeing any snow little water puddle puddles here and there but nothing too crazy little mud right here too so so this is along 322 B I think yeah absolutely there is no snow whatsoever yeah 322 and then we're gonna go straight down here to 322 B right here all right looks like I'm gonna go over the pass right now kind of see how it is I'm not seeing any snow whatsoever. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and go down the pass. Uh, so far I'm not seeing anything. It looks pretty nice. Yeah. It's nice and hard packed. Eventually it's gonna lead to uh, hard packed say, gravel. This is definitely, uh, definitely rideable. I'm not seeing anything out here that's covered in snow or slick or whatever. I don't remember if I've been this way before. Oh yeah, I remember this. This kind of does like a little, a little drop up there towards the end. But yeah, all this is definitely rideable, man. I love it when the aspens are like that. They're probably gonna grow back eventually. You know, the sun is always hitting here, so everything dries up. Which is nice. Okay, this is the last stop of the day. Well, at least on this trail system, I'm gonna go back in, main, in the uh, main Rainbow Falls. There's 332C towards the back. So the old trails went all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and straight. Keep going. Looks like over here is just a little bit more muddier. Still not that much of that peak gravel. Still all pretty hard packed, which is nice. So far, I'm not seeing any, seeing anything. Yeah. All right. So we're in the main section of Rainbow Falls, and I'm sure you guys know this area it looks like the pea gravel is starting to come back right here and there's definitely mud <laughs> there's definitely mud out here my dual sport tires are feeling a little wishy-washy I'm sure with um, what's it called knobbies it'd be a lot better out here so I'm still along 348 and I haven't seen really any snow whatsoever. Definitely looking good. Though so there's still some pretty bad mud areas. 
both and some are just drying up really good with this pea gravel stuff now we're going down in 348 <laughs> i'm sure you guys know where this is where you're going down downhill on 348 a long ways down so keep oh look at the deers what's up homies what y'all doing y'all chilling all right guess what guys going up 348 um ran into uh snow and looks like it's probably more slush than anything all right so i turn around here's a little small trail i think this one dead ends but i'm not a hundred percent sure okay let's see where we go it's not terribly steep okay 350 is just right off 348 all right so we're going down 350a see how it is it's just i took the one going downhill so hopefully it's okay you know looks like there's some snow down here yeah so this is 350 guys it looks like there's still some snow out here oh all right so that was the fork down over there i think that's a little bit more of a harder trail so i took the easier one 350a so far it looks like it's uh drying up over here this is pea gravel so it's starting to come out over here it's a nice little beautiful forest ride out here so yeah it looks like the pea gravel is definitely starting to come out so it's been a while since i've been down here so all right looks like we got some mud that looks a little hairy <laughs> damn i think i just killed a butterfly looks like there's some snow up there so at the entrance of this trail 350a definitely tons of mud yeah is that nasty mud okay so this is almost towards the end of 350a I'm definitely going to say it's definitely muddy. Well, more towards the end or the entrance of 358. <laughs> That's wonderful. More snow. Uh, it looks like there's still a bunch of mud and snow out here. It's really slick, especially with these tires. So I forgot to check out one more section, a pretty popular one where a lot of Jeeps and stuff go. This is 344. It's a pretty good uh jeep jeep area because there's like a lot of rocks and stuff yeah this is pretty rutted already Woo. it's doable it's a little muddy okay still climbing in elevation and i'm not finding anything yet so with all the snow and stuff it looks like it's pretty rutted out you keep going up 344 there was a really nasty rut section i was just going through and muddy <laughs> that's some pretty big rocks that was not like that last year wow rocks definitely seem a lot bigger along this trail find huge ruts so all this trail is definitely rutted out let's keep going so as we're going down the trail it definitely looks better more rocks exposed than last year that's for sure yeah all these rocks were not here last year this is incredibly rocky this is no longer the easier the easy trail i used to know wow this trail definitely became a little bit uh a little bit more gnarlier <laughs> all right guys so we're still on 344 we're gonna keep going see what we find yeah i will say for the most part these trails are are good to ride this is definitely all rideable hopefully i didn't take the one that gets really steep i think i accidentally took the one that gets really steep <laughs> Thank you. 
that was a workout with the DRZ. That was quite a steep climb. So we're high up in elevation right now, and I'm not seeing much snow on this trail. So you could probably take this trail and bypass a lot of the other ones. Still climbing in elevation. That's 344 and 348B. So there's still some areas that still have snow. I went ahead and took a right. So here's the main parking lot. I went up here. I forgot what name of this trail is, but I'm over here right now and this is areas with some snow. So here's the area right here that's full of snow. These tires don't do good. So it's gonna take it very easy. Okay guys, so it looks like uh, I'm not seeing that much snow down here. Uh, give you an idea where I'm at. So I'm almost here back on this trail. I'm gonna go back down and then just kind of go around to the main, you know, the main road here and just end up hitting uh, the parking. Okay guys, so I just finished the end over there. Um, I'm back on 340. That's the number of this road. This is 348, the main road. Take 348 all the way back down here and we should be good back to parking. But for the most part, all this is pretty uh, rideable.